as a species, we have evolved the trait of consciousness. And that's been really important. It makes us distinct. And through that, we've developed kernels of wisdom over time. Ideas about how we ought to live, what we should really value in life, what's important. But I think currently we've lost sight of that. Many of us are rushing around in a brain-numbing, frenzied activity, distracting ourselves with electronics, keeping ourselves as busy as we possibly can, almost as if to avoid having to think. It's funny, people spend so much time thinking about the past and what they could have done differently or what they will do differently in the future that will make them happier then. But in reality, happiness comes from the present and being in the moment. What would life be like if we fully embraced our waste like we do our treasures? It's no less real and no less important. Once you're aware of your actions, you can't be ignorant of the impact that you're having on the earth or those around you anymore. The mind is a flexible mirror, adjusted to see a better world. We truly want to experience the world and become aware of the bigger picture. We have to be more mindful. Mindfulness is the difference between anticipating the weekend and enjoying the week. Whether you're hating it or loving it, know that it's impermanent. Embrace the waves of positivity and negativity. Living mindfully is living sustainably. Tim Hortons needs to be more mindful. Once we see the world is interconnected and start acting with compassion, I think everything will change. When we see the growing landfill as we ask for a plastic bag or the suffering and carbon emissions that allow us to eat bacon for breakfast, we can start to act sustainably. Think of the human body as a metaphor connecting us to the earth. So our veins and arteries are like streams and rivers. So when you pollute the streams and the rivers, you're essentially polluting your own blood supply, meaning what we do to the earth, we do to ourselves. Everyone can be a little more self-reflective, some people including Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. When I practice mindfulness meditation, I am better able to see myself as a component of the Earth's ecosystem, not separate from it. This project instilled a sense of interconnectedness in me, and I've been able to consider how my thoughts and actions will affect others and the environment around me. Practicing mindfulness has really made me conscious of the fact that a lot of the everyday little things that I do, I do out of convenience, which is a really bad habit. If we really want to be sustainable, we need to start thinking of convenience as a luxury rather than something that we depend on. The earth does not need humanity to sustain itself, but we cannot survive without the earth. I dare you to spend a day living mindfully, becoming aware of the ground you walk on, the air you breathe, and the small glimpses of life that surround you. And remember, we are all sharing it with you. For a long time, our society has grown basically on the idea of doing more with more. And more recently, as austerity has come, it's about doing more with less. But really, if you think about it, our, the quality of our lives will be most enhanced by doing less with less, by allowing ourselves more time to reflect and value and appreciate what really matters. It's about slowing down. It's about living with more mature philosophical perspectives. It would benefit ourselves as individuals. It would benefit society. And indeed, it might be a potential way in which we could truly achieve sustainable living.